Hello, hello. I got a lapel mic. I think that's what it's called. See how the, the audio quality is here because I filmed this off of my phone. Also, this entire video is going to be about production updates on minted New York item. As you can see, we got a nice pimple coming in. We went on an 11 mile run and uh, I wore a new rain jacket I had never worn before, zipped all the way up. Got home and noticed that it had just cut me open. Here's what it is, you know? Let's get into where we are with minted New York and minted health products production update i guess prints and i'll put up what i'm referring to right here so they are in the process of being printed it's pretty slow process considering the paper and the inkjet printing plus i'm not the only one that the print shop is printing for all that into consideration they're moving extremely fast i think that'll be done next week then it becomes how do we ship them in the most efficient manner can we ship them internationally a lot of people ship prints by folding them into a tube i do not want to do that i'm going to ship these prints they are 20 by 24 prints they will be shipped flat protected um and I think that's the best way to maintain their quality. We didn't cheap out on paper. We didn't cheap out on printing. So I'm certainly not going to ever cheap out on shipping. Rolling it feels wrong. Sure, it would be okay, but it feels wrong. That's Those are the prints. That's where we are at. Jackets. A lot of people have been asking about the jackets fairly regularly. Here's the issue we had. There are only a couple uh, distributors of Riri zippers in the United States. Riri being a foreign brand you cannot buy directly from their website when you need something in bulk you have to go to a distributor luckily i live in new york city there's a distributor here in new york city i got the zippers that we needed or so i thought as we are going through their stock they realize they don't have enough in the color pull and actual metal color that we needed it is what it is they said we can put an order in and get them relatively quickly with covid and every thing that it's done to the supply chain were delayed we're like ultra delayed i thought i would have the zippers by end of november it is middle of january extremely frustrating at the same time the neck tags for the small jacket have come from the manufacturer of the neck tags wrong twice submitted an order color was wrong submitted a reorder not even bringing it up to them just i'd rather get the label or i'd rather get the neck tag and not have to deal with anything, you know, mistakes happen, I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. They come in the wrong color again. And so now I'm frustrated, contacted customer service, and I said, hey, I just want to make sure that when I submit this next order, they're going to come in the right color that matches the, the medium and the large jacket neck tag color. They assured me that that is what they can do, so they are in production. Delays are, are something that I'm learning to now deal with because it seems with the Run Club hoodies, we had the shipping delay in the port. That was like the first major delay we've ever dealt with. I think that uh, as I encounter delays more and more often, we will be able to deal with them better. Um, but right now it's it's very frustrating to me to, to have to deal with delays like that because it's completely out of my control and it's not something I can just put in more time and work through or solve myself. But it is what it is. The Run Club hoodie restock. All of the Run Club hoodies are in production. And when I say all of the Run Club hoodies, I mean the colors that originally released, those. This color, which is a faded green, olive drab color. And there will be a royal blue with white accent. I don't have a picture of the royal blue one yet. I should be getting a picture of the first piece coming off the production line next week those are all in production the coasters that come with them the ceramic coasters are also in production those won't ship to me until probably end of february they won't be in my hands because they're shipped by sea until probably sometime in march so i would expect the hoodie restock to be some the run club hoodie restock to be sometime in march don't hold me to any of these dates like we just talked about delays happen and it is what it is you can only do so much i'll put a picture up here there are basics hoodies uh which i haven't talked much about at all i don't think i've ever even shown these pictures but they're pretty much these hoodies uh with just the embroidery on the neck my idea and thinking behind these hoodies to provide pieces that people could just layer into other outfits right the the branding is extremely minimal it matches um the color of the hoodie so unless you're really looking for it it's not something that's gonna take uh, a viewer's eye off the composition of an outfit it should blend in you can layer the pieces just 
kind of like blanks almost those those are already finished and they are loading onto a ship next week in that same shipment on that same ship are the crew necks that you have been seeing me wear i'll put picture up here the crew necks um in three colors <clears throat> the gray the orange and the blue the other colors are still in production so those will be those will be at a later date but th those three colors will be loading the ship with the blank uh the basic hoodies the blank hoodie type deal and those should arrive the beginning of february it's about 25 to 30 days of ship time when they come by by sea as we experienced with the first run club hoodies there's a chance they get stuck in the port it happens i have no control over it hopefully it doesn't but we're gonna roll with the punches as we go here the jewelry necklaces especially i will be putting in my production order in italy next week all of those are going to production we are still working on rings i want to be able to offer three rings a pinky signet um and then like a ring for your ring finger and then a ring for your index finger the signet is good signet i'm saying it right right signet the signet design is done i just don't know what to do for the other two fingers and understanding what size run we need to do for um the rings is important we need a bit more time on the rings but the jewelry as far as necklaces go is going into production the beanie restock people have been asking for more beanie colors i haven't had a chance to sample beanie colors to make sure they look good in person <clears throat> so because of that i threw the navy blue the black and the brown into production since we've already sold them before we know they look good uh we don't have to worry about sampling them so they're in production and then new colors will be sampled first make sure they look good when they arrive they look good in person and then we can go into production with those the production time for beanies is extremely fast i think it's about 15 days so we can iterate at a much faster pace with beanies than we can with uh full-blown like apparel pieces the loafers another picture loafers we have our loafer sample and <clears throat> right now we are just finalizing fa factory specifics um so i went down a deep rabbit hole into the world of leather constructing leather constructed shoes specifically goodyear welt and i decided that i want these le these loafers to be goodyear welted because what i was reading online is goodyear welted is kind of the gold standard maybe behind hand welted which is like handmade yeah i, I want goodyear welted because it's the highest quality and that's what i'm after in all of the pieces so now it, it becomes how can we pull it off and how can we pull it off at a price range that doesn't price out a bunch of people um goodyear welted is inherently more expensive i'm gonna have to get creative the pre-workout the pre-workout peach tea same formula as we had previously had the one that sold out is about three weeks out from being delivered for me it has about three weeks of production left today we got the pink lemonade sampling in the the first iteration of the sample wasn't good the second iteration the one that came today tasted very good i'm happy finally with the pink lemonade flavoring sean's happy with the pink lemonade flavoring so i think we can probably go into production with that in a maybe a month or so that and that kind of just brings me to my last point when you are bootstrapping a business especially something with production cycles you run into working capital crunches right so when you make product uh all them the generally I'll walk you through it or how it is set up for me right now. With a factory, you go in to make product. You put 50% of the total cost down to start production. And then when production finishes, you pay the remainder balance 50%. The product is shipped to you. Money is tied up for that entire period of time. Could be as long as 60 days of production. When you have a lot of different things in production, you have just tons of capital out the door. Then you get product in, you sell product, and the way I've run the business and the way I've always read to read businesses is you roll back everything into the business. There's no point in taking money out of the business because you're now putting a collar on your growth. You sell product, you roll all the money back into new production, new products, you grow a little bit, and then that continues. Well, like, we're growing so fast that we have so much in production, our working capital is just crunched super hard. So there's a few 
um, things, a few avenues that I've explored. Obviously, there's Shopify Capital. I don't know if any any of you know about it, but they pretty much look at your monthly sales and can offer you capital. And cost of capital can be anywhere from eight percent to thirteen, fourteen percent. Not not a terrible deal. You can go to like traditional lenders, banks, you can get working capital line of credit, generally what you get when you're trying to scale your inventory. Problem being, I use Chase as my business bank. Generally, if a traditional bank is going to lend you as a uh, for a working capital line of credit, they want two years financial statements. I started this business January, 2021. I do not have 24 months of statements to show anybody. I have 12. This was my first fiscal year. So you can't, it, it makes going that route extremely hard. And the banks that I have reached out to have pretty much turned it down on, on that information alone. Not, not having two year tax return is generally the starting point for getting a working capital line of credit that I've run into. Maybe other people know of other lenders that aren't banks that, that do them. I'm all, I'm all ears for trying to figure out how to do this. So that that's the working capital crunch. We are about a week away from signing on our first warehouse. It'll be about 4,000 square feet. Um, so plenty of enough space for what we need right now and a little bit of space to grow into after we max out that space which i have a feeling will be within the next 12 months we have to look to expand now it doesn't mean getting a bigger warehouse does it mean splitting warehouse between east and west coast and fulfilling out of two areas for faster delivery I don't know. And the reason I haven't gone to a 3PL is because I feel that we have a speed edge right now fulfilling ourselves. I understand it gets incredibly hard to do so because it's almost like running an entire second business on top of selling the brand's stuff. You now have to work through all of the logistics, but um, that speed edge is something I've now become known for with the shipping times and it's something I want to give the customer. I want you all to be able to get your packages within two days in the United States. International, obviously more difficult, but when, when, you have a, when you have a company like Amazon, they have shifted customer perspective so much so that customers expect packages within two to three days. You have to try to match that. Even if you're a small business, like it's fairly doable you just have to work extremely hard on fulfilling your orders, which I, th I think we have done a good job with so far and we'll continue to build that out. I, I know it can be frustrating that we don't have, have products all of the time. Like I said, I, I am very much learning and scaling this as we grow here and I apologize, but there's only so much I can do with the working capital, the production times, shipping by cargo, um, ocean liner we're, we're working through it all of it will continue to smooth out we're 12 months into the game right now and i am extremely confident in improving our processes as we grow thank you guys for your patience of course i thank you for the support like i i'm, I'm just know that we're working toward getting products available to all of you as fast as we can and not ever sacrificing quality quality and customer service the top two things that I care about the most. I'm not gonna put a product out early if it's not ready. And yeah, that's that. So that's that's the update on where Minted New York and Minted Health is right now. And hopefully we get some products out soon. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, if you enjoy these videos, like, comment, subscribe. I don't like asking for subscribers because it feels corny to me. Every little bit helps. Um, so say goodbye to me and my pimple and I'll see you next week.